Good afternoon and welcome to the seventh Next Steps at Vanderbilt graduation. We are so proud of our five graduating students and the paths that they have paved for many future success stories. We welcome you here today to share in this wonderful celebration. Almost everyone here has played a very special part in the development of Next Steps at Vanderbilt. So before we go further, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Sharon Shields. I'm the Associate Dean for Professional and Graduate Education here at Vanderbilt at Peabody. And we also want to recognize some very special groups today. So I'm going to ask these groups to stand as I call uh, your names. Would the members of the Next Steps at Vanderbilt Advisory Council please stand? And the Steering Committee, the Vanderbilt University Administration, faculty members, if you'll stay standing, faculty members, and internship directors, and the Next Steps staff of Vanderbilt. Please stand so that you can see all of our leaders who made all of this possible, and let's give them a big hand. All right, you may be seated. Next, we would like to recognize all of our Next Steps alumni who have come back. So would all of our alumni please stand that are here? All right, thank you, and you may be seated. If you talk to one of our Next Steps at Vanderbilt students, you won't talk long before you hear about our great ambassadors. So Vanderbilt students who have provided support and friendship to the students over the years, which are more than 200 of our Vanderbilt students from all parts of the university have uh, been an integral part of this program, we would like to uh, recognize our ambassadors at this time. So with all the ambassadors that are here that are current Vanderbilt students, thank you. All right, thank you. Over the past years, I have served on the Next Steps Advisory Board, and as a faculty member for many of our Next Steps students, some who are graduating today and some who were here as alumni. Being a part of Next Steps has been a highlight of my 40 plus years at Vanderbilt. On this day, as you remember, your last two years together, take time, graduates, to think back to your first day at Vanderbilt. Remember some of those feelings and the uncertainty of all that was ahead. And now, I want you to think of all you have done, all you have accomplished, all you have learned, all of the friends you have made, and all of the people who have been there in your life throughout this time. Many of them are sitting here today to join in our celebration of you. You are vital members of this university community. We all love seeing you, waving to you, and talking to you all over the campus, in the classroom, in the dining hall, on the sidewalk at football and basketball games, in the library, the fitness center, in the commons living room. And it always makes me feel great when I walk in the commons living room and I get hellos from the Next Step students. It makes my day. You all are everywhere and you teach us by your example how to be together in community. And you are such wonderful role models of how to love every moment of being here. Your smiles brighten this campus like stars on a clear autumn night brighten the sky. Your thoughtful and gracious ways fall down on us like gentle winter snow. 
Your laughter dances through hallways and at tables like rain dancing on a tin roof in the spring. You have been with us for all seasons over the past two years, bringing new life to Vanderbilt University. For all of the contributions you have made to Vanderbilt and to this community, we are so very grateful that you t chose to take your next steps with us. I want to assure you that just because you are coming to the end of your college journey, it does not mean that your relationship with Vanderbilt University ends. You are always welcome to come and be with us. You are alumni of this great university. You are important and beloved members of the Vanderbilt family. We know you will go on to do amazing things in life to be agents of change and to make a difference in this world. And how do we know that will happen? Because you have been amazing agents of change right here at Vanderbilt and you have made a difference for us all. It is now my privilege to introduce our next speaker because as you have already heard, the ambassadors play such an integral part of Next Steps. We will now hear remarks by an ambassador to make the remarks this year, it's my pleasure to introduce Ab Abby Morgan, Class of 2017. Hi, everyone. When I think about the graduating class, a mantra from Paul Doherty comes to mind. Expect, don't accept. I'm sure that the people in the lives of these students have held high expectations for them. But more importantly, I feel that they have never accepted less than they wanted to expect of themselves. They are all passionate and determined people that Vanderbilt has been lucky to have had. A few memories of students stand out for me that illustrate this point. Amber was in my transitions to adulthood class in the fall. I deeply appreciated how open she was with her experience and opinions. Following foundational questions that our wonderful professor, Dr. Lauren Bethune, would ask, like, why is transition planning important? Sometimes that awkward silence would ensue while we all tried to figure out how to articulate the answer. Amber would often step up in those times, providing insightful answers that were textured with her own personal experience. Amber is an incredible self-advocate and a teacher for her peers and for the young children that she works with. Jason has always been one to enjoy meeting new people and talking with friends, and he has also grown to be an incredible self-advocate. Last year, he and his ambassador, Lauren, planned to give a speech at Vanderbilt Star. As the time frame to speak drew near, he became a little nervous. However, all he needed was a 10-second pep talk to be ready to walk to the stage. After less than a minute on stage, Jason was the one holding the microphone and talking about how much he loves Next Steps and how much he and his friends had accomplished. Jason, often silly and fun-loving, is also incredibly brave, hardworking, and compassionate. Dre has a huge passion for nutrition and sports, and it's been exciting to see him in related internships and hear about his classmates and ambassadors supporting his teams. Dre, in turn, is an incredibly supportive friend. Whenever we run into each other, Dre is sure to ask me how I'm doing and ensure that I'm taking care of myself, and will likely invite me to an upcoming game or social event. Recently, when I was having a stressful day, I happened to run into Dre. He gave me encouragement to get through the day and told me to let myself get some rest later, which was truly the advice that I needed. I am so excited to hear about the impact Dre makes in others' lives as he continues to encourage people to live healthy lifestyles in his career. Nyla never fails to put a smile on my face. I remember meeting up with her while walking back from main campus one day. She was returning from theater class and had cut out some animal characters she planned to make in hand. They were so cool, and I know that Nyla made many awesome things in the theater. Getting to walk for five minutes with Nyla made that walk and many of my days immensely better. And whenever I got to have lunch with Nyla Jalapeno, it was always so much fun. <laughs> Jamal has a memory everyone, that makes everyone feel valued. And he understands that noticing others and making them feel valued is one of the most important things you can do. 
at a Halloween party last year, he remembered my name and grade, even though I had not seen Jamal since early in the semester. We had a great conversation, as is always the case when you talk with Jamal. Jamal is an, has an incredibly kind and caring demeanor, and it has been wonderful to see him grow and share his personality with others. This graduating class has taught me to hold high expectations in many ways, but most importantly in friendship. They have taught me to expect the best kind of friendships with people who have had different experiences from you. They have shown through their friendships with each other and their ambassadors how to truly support friends and recognize the gifts that we all have. I recently received a pin as a gift from Next Steps after serving as a job coach earlier this year. It's really nice and it's one of my favorite pens to write with. Um, and on it it says, Inclusive Community Champion with Next Steps. And while I have been so lucky to have had the opportunity to advocate for inclusion in the Vanderbilt community, I hope all of the graduating students know that you are the real champions of inclusion. Not just because you're amazing self-advocates for, inclu for inclusion, but because you have made me feel more included in our Vanderbilt community. Every time you said hi to me, asked me how I was, or invited me to a campus event, it meant so much to me and made my experience in our Vanderbilt community exponentially better. I am sure this is true for the many friends you've made here. Because of your inclusivity, my experience at Vanderbilt and my Vanderbilt community is so much larger and greater. So thank you for being my friends and teaching me to be a better friend. I am so grateful that I got to know all of you, and I cannot wait to see how you will continue to make your communities better for everyone in the future. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Jamal Underwood, graduating student. Good evening, Dean Shields, Dean Smith, Miss Day, fellow graduates, family, and friends. My name is Jamal Underwood, and I'm a member of the class of 2017 in the Next Steps program at Vanderbilt University. First of all, today I'd like to give honor to God, who is the head and the leader of my life. He's been so good and so kind to me, and I wouldn't have even been able to make it here today without his help. So, God, I give you the praise and all the glory for that. Secondly, I would like to honor Ms. Day, the director of the Next Steps program, who has taught me, she's taught me so many new things. She's taught me so many new places on campus I never would have found. She's, <laughs> she's, she's, she's been there for me these past two years, and today I want to thank her for that. And I also today honor my parents, Michael and Jerry, right there. They have helped me reared me in a godly way, and I thank them for that. I would like to say on this day to the class of 2017, keep moving forward, never stop believing, and continue to accomplish and excel at what you do, because there is a much higher prize at the end of the tunnel. So please allow me to share with you the following about the Next Steps program. This innovative program has opened so many doors for me that I never would have thought have been opened. For years, I prayed and asked God to lead me here. And even though my parents told me that it would cost too much, I'm glad that financial doors were opened in order. <laughs> oh, praise God. I'm, I'm glad that financial doors were opened, <clears throat> excuse me, in order for me to attend Vanderbilt. In the summer of 1999, I was diagnosed with autism right here on this very campus, and I worked closely with the likes of Dr. Wendy Stone. So I guess all along, God was trying to tell me, Jamal, you're getting ready to come up in here and do some good things. <laughs> Over the years, I was also part of many case studies sponsored through Vanderbilt. Do you all think it paid off? Look at God. Yes, it did. Uh -huh. Fast forward 18 years later, God opened the door for me to come 
to Next Steps and to be on this very same campus where I was diagnosed, thanks to his goodness and mercy. He's allowed me to go on to meet so many, Next Steps has allowed me to go on to meet so many new friends and colleagues, some of whom have already gone on to greater things, but they will have a special place in my heart and life forever. I also have a greater sense of independence since coming here. I've learned how to do so many things that promote me how to use my own abilities and go outside my boundaries, like learning how to use the bus system, learning how to cook, and taking classes with typical Vanderbilt students, such as sociology and religion, which is where I learned about Southern culture and the social aspects of life. I've also had the great pleasure of interning at places both on and off campus. Last semester, I was given the opportunity of completing an internship at the District Attorney, Davidson County District Attorney's Office through Glenn Funk, where my main assignment was filing court cases. And today, I'm pleased to announce that I'm with the Davidson County Clerk's Office in their Motor Vehicle Department, and I'm excited to announce today that this opportunity has landed me a part-time job, which I have accepted. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Next Steps has also truly taught me what college life is like. When I first came here, I felt very scared and unsure about how things would be, particularly how, due to how big this place is. Fortunately, many people were here to assist me along with the help of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's also my best friend. I'd like to thank these amazing people. Miss Tammy Day, who was instrumental, if you would please stand. <laughs> thank you. This, this lady was instrumental in making my transition to college life easier and less scary. And Mr. John Caton over there, who I co-presented with at the State of the Art Conference back in last December on peer mentorships and making friendships for life. Carol Rabideau, who helped me become a better person during some tough times and helped me to work through them. Lauren Bethune, who encouraged me to do well in my Vanderbilt courses. And Lindsey Kretsch, who helped me find the right internship. Katrina Nunn, who helped me find my data dream job of data entry and helped me do well in my internship. And Felicia Johnson, whom I just met this semester, but she has been a great source of encouragement to me. My dream of living college life finally became a reality during the Next Step Summer Institute in June of 2015. There I met so many new friends, tried many new different foods, learned how to cook for myself, and enjoyed the magnificent campus and took everything all in. I had actually applied to, on my own earlier in January of 2015 and got in with flying colors. <laughs> I'm forever happy today and grateful for my experience at Vanderbilt with Next Steps, and I'm giving God the glory for the great things he hath done. I say to my classmates today, and fellow graduates, Dre, Amber, Nyla, and Jason. Go with God, and he's going to go with you. Keep the faith, and don't give up. Last but not least, the person that has gotten me to and from campus on time and safely these past two years is none other than Mr. Carl Yablaw. I'm forever grateful for this man of God. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our distinguished speaker to deliver the farewell remarks, the Associate Dean for the Undergraduate and Graduate Education at Peabody, Dr. Craig Smith. Now I'm intimidated, having, that's, that is an act to follow. Um, in any event, um, on behalf of Dean Camillo Bembo, I would like to express how proud we at Peabody are to be in a partnership with the Next Steps program. From all I have seen since I first came into the Peabody's Dean's office about six years ago, the Next Steps program has been an unqualified success. In fact, as you probably know, this is the last graduation ceremony we will have for a couple of years 
as we transition from a two-year program to a four-year program. The program is making this transition. That is a sign of just how successful the program has been. And we're proud to be part of that transition. What I want to talk to you about today is why I think this program has been so successful and why Peabody and Vanderbilt is invested in being involved in it. One could argue that our interest in the program is primarily altruistic that we derive considerable self-satisfaction from our participation in the program, that we take pride in the fact that we're giving our next step students an opportunity to experience and grow from college life in a way that might not otherwise be possible. If you were to argue this, you would not be entirely wrong. Being associated with this program is a point of pride and satisfaction for many of us, no doubt. But if that were what you focused on, you would be missing a much more important part of the picture. In particular, the main point I want to make today is the relationship between the Next Steps program and Peabody and Vanderbilt is definitely and fully a two-way street. By participating in the program, we are indeed opening doors of opportunity to our Next Steps students. As the students who are graduating today have participated in the program, they have found themselves being pushed to grow and have found themselves enriched in all sorts of ways that they might not have imagined when they entered the program. But then, if you think about it, isn't that the case for almost all of our undergraduate students who we put in this rich environment filled with potential and then help them make the most of it so that many do grow and develop in truly amazing ways? That is what a quality college experience like Peabody and Vanderbilt provides. It affords to all who will take advantage of it as the Next Step students have taken advantage of it. However, in the case of working with our Next, next Steps participants, we get back so much more. From all I have heard, people in our community who have worked with you, our graduating students, have gained much from the experience. The data speak loudly. Many, maybe even most instructors who bring a Next Step student into their class once become repeat participants. Those who are perhaps somewhat hesitant to bring in a student for the first time because they're not sure what to expect, almost always actively seek additional participants in subsequent semesters and become advocates for the program. Why would they do that if they were not getting a lot out of the experience? Similarly, we just lauded our ambassadors, those undergraduates who work closely with our Next Step students to help ensure that they have the best experience possible. Well, not only are those folks selected as ambassadors committed to what they do and also quickly become strong advocates for the program, they are also, it is also the case that becoming an ambassador is a highly sought after position. Why would that be if it weren't an, extreme, an extremely rewarding role to take on? The fact is, Amber, Nyla, Dandre, Jason, and Jamal, by participating in the Next Steps program fully, engaging in our classes, and working with our ambassadors, and everything else you have done, you greatly enrich our intellectual community. And those of us who work most closely with you feel that the most. Your participation in the Next Steps program and your accomplishments through the program are a living testament to the importance and value of our institutional values of diversity and inclusiveness and clearly illustrates how an inclusive community is an enriched community. Watching you invest in your classes and seeing what you take away from them is highly instructive and inspiring. In thinking about it, I was thinking that sometimes you may not take away from a given class everything the professor intended to teach the class, but you do take away important, personally valuable information from the class that can be of great benefit to you. And then as I thought about it, I think you can say that about most of the students here at Vanderbilt. Not just Next Step students. I know in my class, it is the rare student who learns exactly and only what I intended to teach. But in the end, often, both they and I are richer for what they wind up taking away from the class, which can be rather different from what I intended. I think it's safe to say that working with you as students at Vanderbilt, 
both our faculty and our ambassadors learn this and other valuable lessons pretty much daily, which is part of why enthusiasm is so high around here for the Next Steps program. Beyond this, each of the five of you who are graduating tonight have directly enriched our intellectual community in a variety of ways. Up front, I have to confess in my bureaucratic administrative role, I haven't had much opportunity to interact with each of you individually. However, I have certainly heard about the contributions you have made. Amber, I am told that you have been a consistent agent for inclusion. You are always asking things like, but what about people that don't have as much? How do we get them involved? How can we include other people? And things like that. We need more people around here who share these concerns. Nyla, people rave about your artistic talent and how you help provide a pivotal learning experience for students and faculty by sharing these talents in a theater costume design class through the quilting project you worked on. Dandre, you have a clear love of learning that just stands out and people have commented on repeatedly. Your passion for learning is an inspiration for your instructors and for your fellow students. Jason, you have emphasized to those around you the importance of relationships and of remaining connected to community. You are an inspiration with regard to community and service that carries important lessons for many of our students who can get lost in themselves when they become overly focused on personal achievement. I would also note that you've been a member of our community for a long, long time. Coming to campus from a very young age to participate in studies being conducted here and taking part in meetings of the Down Syndrome Association held right here on campus. And Jamal, you have made many contributions in many domains. So much so that you carry the distinction of being the very first Next Steps student to serve as a committee member of the Vanderbilt Student Government. Thus, you have contributed to our community by helping to run the place. <laughs> In sum, my key point tonight is to emphasize that for all five of you, not only have you been able to take advantage of a wonderful set of opportunities that your participation as a Next Step student has afforded you, but that in doing this, each of you has given back to Vanderbilt and our intellectual community in vital ways that makes us all the richer as a result. It is extremely important for all of us to make note of this and to appreciate both your contributions and you as individuals. Given this, I would like to end these remarks with a very simple statement from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Smith, for those inspiring words, those heartfelt words, and I can say that as a person who's been engaged in Next Steps, you have captured for us and for this audience what it means to have Next Steps students on our campus. So thank you very much. So I believe that this is the time that we've been waiting for. And so we will now award the certificates to our 2017 graduates of Next Steps at Vanderbilt. Amber Sierra Cameron. Determined and compassionate come to mind when one thinks about Amber. She came to Next Steps as a self-advocate and she has refined these skills. Amber has had a strong voice in sharing the student's per perspective with staff as we work to expand the student's inclusion campus-wide. She has discovered a genuine interest in advocacy work with elected officials. Amber used this compassion with her capstone project, 
which focused on sharing her personal experiences seeking affordable housing with Nashville elected officials. She successfully completed coursework in procedures and transition to adulthood, health service delivery to diverse populations, one of my favorite courses. I helped teach it. <laughs> Family intervention and adolescent psychology. Her internships included sharing her talents at the Susan Gray School, the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, Bill Wilkerson Center's uh, preschool for children with autism, and the Belmont Weekday School. This young woman's compassion for others was also evident as a stellar volunteer leading Next Steps open house tours and pairing up with students during campus tours for high school students. Congratulations, Amber. Let's give another round of applause for Amber. Okay, next is DeAndre Delano Howard. Dre is a fierce advocate for healthy eating and fitness, and he offers encouragement through the example he sets and his words of wisdom. The Next Step staff placed him at, an intern at internship sites that would provide important employment skills to assist Dre in working in the areas that fuel his fitness interest. These in internships have included Vanderbilt Recreation and Wellness Center and the Last Drop Coffee Shop, Dre's competitive spirit and love of sports led him to enjoy many Vanderbilt sporting events, Special Olympics, and weekly workouts with his ambassadors. His self-discipline has helped him excel in his coursework. Dre is a trailblazer who leads through courage and humility. He is the first Next Step students, student who is deaf, and his kindness, patience, and bravery have been inspiring. Many of his classmates and friends proudly boast that with Dre, they are learning to use American Sign Language. It is no surprise that Dre chose to teach an exercise session at Bridges for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing as a way of paying it forward for his capstone project. Congratulations. Let's give one more round of applause for Dre. <laughs> Nala Soraya Huddleston. <laughs> Nala Huddleston's high level of good cheer has propelled her into the hearts of all. Nala took advantage of everything that came her way as a Vanderbilt student, which, pre which included presenting at several conferences, being interviewed by Chris Ulmer of Special Books for Special Kids, 
recording with Rascal Flats, <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking hip hop and Zumba classes with Vanderbilt Dance Studio, attending numerous sporting events, being an active member of Best Buddies, and much more. Nyla worked closely with her ambassadors to complete her courses, which included two songwriting courses, elements of basic design, costuming and makeup, and Western art. The arts are a deep part of this creative soul as evidenced by two special projects with her courses. She wrote and recorded a song entitled, The Nyla Way. <laughs> and created an in-depth quilting project during her costume design class. She worked joyfully at a soup kitchen in Huntsville, Alabama during the senior trip, and she would often advocate for her peers. While Nyla proudly states that she will one day be a star on Broadway, she also shares a passion for the culinary arts. Among her internship sites were the Common Grounds, Vanderbilt Dining, and Moe's Southwest Grill. Her co-workers <laughs> greatly enjoyed her spirit and so do we. Congratulations. And let's give Nala one more round of applause. <laughs> Jamal Tyrell Underwood. <laughs> Jamal came to next steps with clear goals to expand his skills as a scholar, employee, and friend, goals that he clearly met. Jamal dove deep into his courses, which included the survey of jazz, sociology, anthropology, and Southern religion and culture. It has been a pleasure watching the increased mastery of Jamal's writing ability through pa papers for his courses and his journals. He has become a frequently requested speaker and presenter for Next Steps. Jamal traveled to the 2016 State of the Art Conference in Washington, D.C. to co-present on the peer mentor student organization, the Next Steps Ambassadors. He developed employment skills during each internship, including the Vanderbilt Divinity School Library, the Vanderbilt Hill Center IT Department, the Tennessee District Attorney's Office, and the Davidson County Clerk's Office. Jamal arrived on campus a fairly shy, reserved young man. He is still the epitome of a Southern gentleman, but now he is also a strong self-advocate, a compassionate volunteer during service projects, and a friend who joins in on the fun during activities like the Best Buddies Prom. Congratulations. One more round of applause for Jamal. Jason Van Wolven. <laughs> I think Jason's soaking it in. People know Jason by his interest in being connected to others, which opens opportunities for him in social, employment, and classroom settings. Jason's interest in people has made him a perfect Next Steps open house host and high school tour guide 
and an outspoken advocate for inclusive higher education at every opportunity. He demonstrated growth from a high school student into a college student in his courses, which included stars and galaxies, oceanography, arts education for young children, and service learning. As a people person, Jason focused his internships on service industry sites that have added to his repertoire of employment skills. These internships have included Vanderbilt Recreation, Vanderbilt Dining, Common Grounds Market, Vanderbilt Concessions, and an internship at McDonald's. During his self-awareness class his first week of college, the question was posed, what is a goal you have for your life? Jason had the perfect answer, to be happy. Congratulations. And one more round of applause. <laughs> As part of the conclusion of today's celebration, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Samantha Long, Blair School of Music, Class of 2018 who will sing the Vanderbilt alma mater. Please stand and sing along. The words are on the inside cover of the program. So I'm going to take a little privilege here, and I would like for our 2017 class to stand up here in the front for just a moment. Everybody else remain standing. So would the class come forward? So graduates, I want you to look out at all the people who are here to support you, to cheer you on, to celebrate with you. And the first thing I want to have happen is I know that you are very appreciative of all of the support that you have received. I would like for you to applaud all the people here and say thank you. So would you applaud the people here? And now, <laughs> this is your class 
Next Steps of Vanderbilt University 2017. Audience, please applaud them. And now, the next celebration begins, and we would like for everyone to attend the reception down on the second floor immediately following this. Uh, and if it's hosted by Vanderbilt Next Steps Alumni Association. So we will see you in the, Vander in the lobby downstairs. Enjoy. Congratulations again.